One of the many great advantages of having a jailbroken Nintendo 3DS is being able to back up your cartridge-based games and even their saves right off the cartridges onto SD. Then you can even play the games right off the SD card. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to do to get this done, and it all starts right now. You'll need to have a jailbroken Nintendo 3DS or 2DS for this to work. So if yours isn't jailbroken yet, watch this video first. It'll be linked right here and in the description below. With your 2DS or 3DS system powered off, hold the start button and press the power button. This will launch you into God Mode 9, which you're going to need to use. Get the game cartridge that you want to back up. In this case, it's Super Mario 3D Land. And insert it into your 2DS or 3DS system. With the cartridge inserted, scroll down on the top menu until you get to the option that says Game Cart. And then press the A button on your 2DS or 3DS. You'll see the contents of your 3DS or 2DS game cart. Scroll down until you get to the one that says trim.3ds. That's the file that you're looking for. So scroll down and then press the A button. On the bottom touch screen, you'll see several options, including the first one, NCSD image options. Pick that one by pressing the A button. And then scroll down until you get to build SIA from file. Then press the A button. This starts the process of copying over your game card to your SD card in CIA format. No sense watching this paint dry. Skip into the end. Just know that it takes several minutes or more to copy your game card over based on the size of the game stored on the card. With the game copied over, just press the B button several times to go back to the God Mode 9 main menu. Now just press Start to restart the system. Once your system's restarted, launch FBI. This will help you manage files on your 3DS or 2DS system. Using the D-pad, scroll down until you get to GM9 and press the A button. Then scroll down to the Out folder and press the A button. This folder is where the game that you backed up has been copied to in CIA file format. So scroll down until you see your game listed in the top screen, as you can see right here. To install the game to the SD card, press the A button on the game, and then you can have the choice of either installing the SIA or installing the SIA and deleting it. If you don't intend to back up these SIA files on a PC or somewhere else, you can just install and delete. But if you intend to back them up later, just pick install SIA. So in this case, I'm just going to pick install SIA. That way, if you decide you want to back up those SIA files to your PC somewhere, you can do that. Once you've made your selection, just press the A button or tap A on the screen to confirm, and it will start to install the SIA right to the SD card. Now, if you thought watching the original copy over the cartridge was like watching paint dry, this is like watching two coats of paint dry, so I'm going to skip ahead again. There, that's better. Once the game's installed, you can tap OK or press any button to continue. At this point, you can just B button your way all the way back out to the main menu, and press either Home or Start to go back to the 3DS or 2DS main menu. But first a notification. There's a new game available to you on your main menu and it would just so happen to be the one that you just installed from the SIA file in FBI. I kind of like new presents, so let's unwrap this one. And there it is, Super Mario 3D Land and it's installed on the SD card. Now, if you're not concerned about transferring over any save files, your work here is finished, my friend. You can go back to the command ship and await the Emperor's order. But if you have some save games that you want to move over, stick around because there's more to watch to help you get that done. Back at the main menu, and with the cartridge still inserted, launch Checkpoint. It lets you make backups of your save games off your cartridges. So select New with the A button and then confirm with yes that you want to make a backup. This is just a World 1-1 backup to demonstrate how this works. You can either rename the backup or just click OK. It'll tell you that it's completed the backup, and so select OK. Now you'll see that there's a copy of your backups for your save games. You'll need to remove the cartridge, 
so the checkpoint can be redirected to look for the saves that you have now backed up on your SD card and put them in the right place. So close checkpoint. Then just go right back into it again and reopen it. Once checkpoint is loaded, you'll need to redirect it and tell it where to look for the external save. So press the X button and that's when you'll get this screen. If you'll notice, it changed from looking in the cartridge to looking in the SD card, which is exactly what you want. And if it doesn't see your game yet, just press and hold the B button for a moment and it'll rescan for games. At this point, scroll down to the save game file that you created, then either tap restore or just press the right shift button. Then select yes to confirm. This is going to move your game saves over to the SD card copy of your game. Then select OK when it's done. Now you can just B button back to the root of checkpoint and press home or just press start to go back to the main menu. Let's launch Super Mario 3D Land from the SD card to make sure that the save game actually copied over. So after a brief load screen, here's the game again loaded up on the SD card. So go ahead and start the game. And if you look right here, you'll see World 1 is actually a save game choice that you have available to you on Selection A. So it did in fact copy over the save game. If you haven't yet, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot and helps support the channel in the growth. And there's going to be even more great 2DS and 3DS content coming up soon. Thanks so much for being here with me. I truly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.